Okay, we are joined by head coach Neil Ivey, uh, freshman guard Olivia Miles, and sophomore forward Maddie Westbeld. Format will be the same um, as we just as we just had. Coach Ivey will make uh, opening remarks. We'll take questions for the student athletes, release the student athletes, and then take questions for Coach Ivey. Once again, if you are a part of the Zoom crowd, go ahead and raise your hand if you have a question. Coach, would you want to give us some opening remarks, please? Well, um, you know, tough loss came down to one possession. Um, so just really, I mean, really, really hard, you know, going through this type of situation scenario. Um, but I'm super proud of this. My team, I'm so proud of them. Um, you know, coming from last year, not making the tournament to being one possession away to going to the Elite Eight. And I talked to them about it in the locker room. Um, we have come so far. Um, and the growth, the maturity of this team, this entire season, the belief, the, the buy-in, I cannot ask for another special group. I, I love them so much, and I'm just so proud. Um, but again, like this is this is hard. You know, it's going to take a long time to, to recover. But again, I'm just so proud of um, this group, and I'm proud of you know to, to be their coach and excited for the future. Thank you, Coach. We'll start over here on the right for the student athletes. Go ahead. Change your post, the Observer. Uh, Maddie, you obviously had a really big assignment today dealing with Kanane. You know, you played 36 minutes. You know, and a lot of that you were spent, you know, guarding her in the post. You obviously love the team rebounds. You know, can you speak about, you know, you know what heading into the game? You know, did you, you know, were you prepared to take on that assignment? And obviously, you know, you handled it pretty well. You know, what's it like once you're in the game dealing with that and you know trying to, you know, really make yourself a force in the post? Um. Yeah, I mean, we kind of dealt with some adversity at the beginning. Maya in, fight, in foul trouble, and um, that was the game plan, was to have her um, guard her. But I think I just just stepped up to the assignment. And um, in the first half, uh, shut her down a little bit. In the second half, she hit some good <coughs> shots down the stretch. But um, overall, yeah, just ready to do whatever it takes to help my team. Over here on the right. Hey, Hannah with I'm Just from in Sports. Question for Olivia. You said yesterday you're, you're really proud of what you've accomplished because you, you have a tendency to get down on yourself. Um, and I know you're disappointed in the result today. But what confidence do you feel you've gained from this run in the tournament? Yeah, I mean, like Coach Ivy said, you know, no one kind of thought that we'd, we'd do this um, coming from a team that didn't make the tournament last year and fought through a lot of adversity with COVID and, you know, injuries and, and players. Um, it's just incredible to see what we've done. And I'm I'm sure you know we're gonna we're gonna remember this feeling like we remember the feeling last year and come back and go even farther. Right here in the middle. Hi, Jackie Powell, Bleacher Report. Um, Olivia, a question for you. You know, I'm I'm curious as to what you saw in that fourth quarter from the NC State defense and how is you know that feeling? How do you you know expand upon that, grow upon that moving forward? Yeah, so um, it was clear that they needed stops and wanted to get stops, so they started pressuring us full court. Um, and I could have done a, a way better job of, you know, getting my team more organized. I was kind of, I was kind of quiet because I was trying to figure it out for myself, um, figure out the spots that I can go and, and get the ball up the floor, um, and that caused, you know, some of my team to do um, create turnovers, and um, I take the blame for that. But um, I was just, you know, reading what they were throwing at me. Um, I, th I thought for the most part we broke broke the press well, but um, there were lapses, and you know I take responsibility for that. Right here in front. Um, <coughs> hi, Azar Johnson, NV Online. Um, everybody's probably going to remember Dara with that with Raina taking that steal. Um, I mean, but that's not the only play that that the loss was that created the loss. I'm sorry. Um, what did you guys? What did you? What did you two, your, your teammates? What did you guys say to her? Because I'm I'm pretty sure she was. You know, hurt and crushed. Any time a player um, goes through that, it's you know it hurts them. So I, I'm I'm just wondering, what did you say to her after the game? Um, um, it was pretty silent after the game. We we went in the locker room. We didn't really say much. Um, but you know, we just reassured her that it wasn't that play. Um, it, it was it was a, a, a build up of plays, like you said. Um, it wasn't that one play. You know, we could have put ourselves in a much better situation to be up four, up six instead of up one. So um, it was it wasn't that play, and then she can't take all the blame for that. Yeah, it's not on her. It's on all of us. And especially um, directly after the play, we assured her that it that like it's over. We have a next. We have 14 seconds left to get a shot up, 
and um, no, it shouldn't have came even down to that. So it wasn't on her. All right. If there are no further questions, uh, sorry, one more here in the middle. Hi, Jackie Powell, Bleacher Report. Uh, Maddie, this is for you. Um, I'm just curious as to what your preparation looked like coming into this game uh, defensively going up against Kunane. Um, yeah, similar to the last question, I um, we were going into the game playing man, and um, we definitely plan on having Maya guard her and plan on her shutting her down and um, – you know, she went into foul trouble, so I took uh, stepped up for the assignment and um, did what I could in the first half. And then um, come second half, she came down the stretch, made some big shots for them. And I think just going in, I don't know, just wanted to do what it took to help my team. Okay, anything else for the student athletes? All right, thank you very much go back to the locker room and we'll stay here with coach Ivy for about 10 minutes. If anybody has any questions for coach, please raise your hand. We'll go to Doug right here in front. Hey coach Doug Farmberg, the AP. Usually when a team makes runs and they can't get that lead, the team that was ahead usually tends to hold off and win the game, but they made that one run at the end of that last play. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm curious, like, what do you say to your team? And it's such a great year. Obviously, it's such a tough loss, as you said. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them, knowing that you have a lot of really good players coming back and probably some really good ones coming in to get ready for looking forward and seeing some sunshine, I guess, in right. a, a cloudy afternoon? Right. <laughs> right. Um, <clears throat> I kind of talked about, um, as coaches, we always, we always stress every possession matters. And so I said, we just had to go to a situation um, where – that is not <laughs> so real you know, as far as our defense getting a stop in our offense, taking care of the ball. So I talked about how um, you know, that's the epitome of, of when coaches say every possession matters. We talked about, I talked about that. But then I talked about um, you know, just to celebrate and actually just to acknowledge where, where, we, where we are right now, acknowledge our growth, acknowledge um, how far we've come. You know, as we're, I'm in year two. Uh, we didn't go to the tournament last year, and I don't, I don't want, I didn't want my team, and I told them this. I don't want them to feel like this loss di dictates who we are, because it doesn't. It's, it's, it's hard, um, but it's part of the game. You know, there's a winner, there's a loser, but we can always learn from it, and so that's what we're gonna do. I talked about that, and I mean, I just, uh, I wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to stress that to them that um, I, I don't want them to feel that this is, you know, I don't want them to feel like this is the end of the world. We have a bright future. I'm starting two freshmen and a sophomore. I have an incredible um, an, an addition coming in next year, and, and we have you know you know pretty much everyone back. And the future is really bright, and I'm really excited um, and, and excited um, just to see who we are and and, um, and what we're going to do in the future. And I talked about that over here on the right, coach. Hi, coach. Uh, Jamison Kirk from the Observer. First of all, congratulations on a great season. Um, you started to touch on it at the end there, but uh, obviously you took over the program uh, when it was a little bit in flux um, in between seasons that maybe quite didn't live up to the Notre Dame standard. Uh, what does this, this run mean uh, for, for getting Notre Dame back to the point uh, that they want to be at and winning national championships? And, and what have you learned about yourself as a coach uh, in that process? You're right. Um, I mean, I, I've learned so much in the past two seasons. I've grown as a coach. I've grown as a person. Um, you know, it's hard for, for every college program going through covid um, navigating through that, um, you know, recruiting, adding some incredible pieces to this program, um, having an amazing staff to work with, and having an incredible returning team, you know, this year. So I credit all of that, you know, to what we're building. It's all about um, belief. It's all about bought buy-in, and it's about commitment, and I have that, and that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to get back to work. Maybe I'll take 24 hours off, and then I'm going to start watching film and get back to work because that's what it is. This is a grind. Um, I'm that, you know, I always talked about, well, my mantra is never, never too high, never too high. Don't ever get too high on the wins and never get too low on the losses. Obviously this is, this one hurts, it's going to hurt, but I know that, um, I'm in an, an amazing university. I have an amazing staff. I have amazing support and I have an amazing team and I'm just blessed and grateful that I get a chance to lead this group. And I'm just happy that the transition has happened so fast because I know it normally doesn't happen that fast. I was told, oh, you're going to need three to four years. Well, I need to one. 
Um, and I'm excited about that. I'm excited about who I get a chance to work with. Um, and I'm excited that I'm hoping that what I sh what we showed as a program, as a team, um, I hope that attracts even more talented players to want to play for this family. Right here in the middle. Hi, Coach Jackie Powell with Bleacher Report. Um, I'm curious what you made of how Maddie Westbeld played the entire game, you know, especially defensively. And uh, I'm curious as to how you sum up her growth as a player, because she is a sophomore, I believe, and sort of what you think maybe her ceiling is uh, in the future. I'm really proud of her. I mean, we had some adversity, um, like she mentioned, my and foul trouble. And I've had different scenarios, so I knew that I can play a different lineup. But she had she had a vi big assignment to try to, to guard Kunane. And I thought she really stepped up to that challenge. She is extremely versatile. Um, she can do it all. She's young, but she has been in the fire even last year. She led us in scoring last year as a freshman. This year, she has a lot of pieces around her. She had a lot of pieces around her that um, help so she didn't have to feel like she had to, to do everything like she did last year. So I, fe I feel like she's growing more even on the defensive end. Like it was a challenge tonight for her um, to have to um, contain Kunane. Normally it's Maya. Maya's our rim protector. Maya normally gets to, um, you know, defends their best opponent's best post player. So the fact that Ma Maddie stepped up in that scenario, um, I think the sky's the limit for her, to be honest. She can do it all. I know she's going to continue working on um, you know, the intangibles, rebounding. Um, she's always going to continue to work on her decision-making, her, her jumper, all the little things. But to have a powerful forward that can play inside out, can, can score on the perimeter, and also um, score on the block and defend, it's, it's a blessing. So I'm excited. I'm excited for the, her future, and I know that she's going to continue to get better because she is, a, she is a Notre Dame kid through and through. She wants to do whatever she can to help us win, so I know she'll come back even better. It's time for a couple more. Go ahead over there. Right. Coach, Naya gave you guys some really good minutes off the bench today. You know, a couple big moments, especially, you know, in the fourth quarter, she had a big offensive rebound that, you know, it helped reset possession. You know, can you talk about what she gave you today and what in general, you know, getting Sam, getting Abby back from injury, you know, what those players have provided to you coming off the bench, giving this team a little more depth? Yeah, and, and Naya gave us such a huge spark. I was so proud of her. Um, she, she was amazing today. And I, we talked about that at the half. She got deflections. She got steals. She did a great job posting up, finishing um, with contact. I thought she was incredible. She gave us a huge spark. Having the opportunity to have Abby and Sam were had, went eight deep, which is something I haven't had a chance to do. So that was awesome to have those, um, to have all three of those players available. Everyone does something different that helps us. You know, Sam scoring, Abby's toughness, and Naya can do both. So. I, and I utilized. I needed. I needed everyone today. So I, I was. I was pr proud of them and very proud of Anaya. Hey, Coach. Um, Azar from MB Magazine. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, is for media, it's kind of hard to cover in college so many teams. Um, but what we saw today with Olivia Miles, she's a freshman, and what I saw on the floor, I didn't see a freshman play. <laughs> I <laughs> that looked like a, a senior out there playing. Right. Um, what did you, if you could just talk about the maturity of her, like, what did you see to recruit this, this young woman? Like, what, what, what did you see that we saw today that you've been seeing right. before? Yeah, well, just scouting and um, recruiting, like you just mentioned, I would go to her courts and I'm like, wow, because <laughs> she plays with a level of swag. She's different from everyone. She's special. She has a gift. Um, so she plays with a, fl a flair. So she's always doing some type of NBA move, to be honest. Moves that you see, Chris Paul, John Morant, um, and to have a, a um, you know a player that young have um, swag like that, I, I was always impressed because she was different from everyone else. She said I was always felt like she was different and set herself apart from a lot of point guards in that in that particular class. Um, and she's done the same thing on the floor. So what you guys saw today is what what I've known. I'm happy that she had a chance to really show show her skill set on the on this the biggest stage, and. Um, she she's learning a lot, you know. She she like she talked about. She's trying. She's still trying to figure things out, and um, I've given her a lot of freedom, and I feel like that's going to help us down the road. And I, I'm I'm honestly really proud because I know it's very hard to be able to lead a Power Five program, and I, I know it is a weight that she had to carry all season long. But I'm very proud that she managed to um, continue to grow, and she did whatever she could. And I just love that she could. Show show us her her flair and bring bring that type of flair to the women's the women's game. Jackie, then we'll wrap it up with Doug. Hi again, Coach. Um, I'm just curious as to 
What do you think made it very difficult for Olivia to read the defense, uh, especially in that fourth quarter, and how she moves forward, you know, from these moments? Yeah, well, I felt like NC State did a great job, great adjustment to pick us up full court, to pressure us. They double teamed her. Um, they, ch they changed th different things on her defensively off the ball screen. Um, yeah, and so when you, you have so much pressure, I think it just – it just kind of weighed on her. I feel like she was just trying to figure things out. She was trying to read while she was trying to run the offense. And, they, you know, it had different different, um, different players on her. So she saw a lot of different things. She had to adjust to a lot of different things. So I think that's what, that's what it was. But, you know, picking us, up, picking us up full court and really pressuring us and sending two people at live and sometimes a big hedge on the ball screen, I think that is what kind of slowed us down a little bit. And then she found ways to get to the rim, but I think it really it really slowed us down collectively, We're not just live. Doug? Coach, I'm just curious, that last play you guys were trying to run, like at the West Belt for three, was that yeah. what you were hoping? We were to have Olivia read the defense and see what was open? Like what was the look you were hoping well, to get off that? Yeah, to be honest, I was trying to, um, you know, I was trying to run a, um, cross screen for Sonia to get to the rim and have M M Maya set it in the middle of the floor, but we didn't get open, so it went to – Liv kept it. So they just ran a high ball a high ball screen, but the way – I think the way that we came off the ball screen, Maddie just was open, and she hit her – um, kicked it to her, but I was trying to get downhill. <laughs> but it, it happens. Um, we always have adjustments, so anything with a ball screen with, with any of our guards, I, I like that. But, again, Maddie had a great look. She's a great three-point shooter. She was playing well. I thought it was going to go in. All right, thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Good to see you. Yeah.